Thanks, John. That's right. Stanley Robinson was working the scrap heap this fall semester. He is back in the lineup, had one practice, looked for the UConn Huskies to manage his minutes tonight, somewhere in the 18 to 20 range. They need to get him ready for Saturday's showdown in Seattle with Gonzaga. Most definitely bigger things on the table for UConn in the not too far distant future coach for Stony Brook coming in, matches the best start in their Division I history. Trying to play a little zone now. Alley oop! And there's Stanley Robinson. Welcome back, <laughs> Mr. Robinson. <laughs> Passes are a little sloppy. Joiner rejected. Zaga coming up this Saturday. Stony Brook will fall to five and five on the season. Jumper by Robinson. He looks more comfortable by the minute. Sticks his price. Diagonal sticks Robinson to the basket. Up and in. What an added dimension that Stanley Robinson, bring, Robinson brings to this team because of the versatility. 9.22 to play first half, 24-13, UConn. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt. They had a difficult trip trying to get here. Inside, sticks Robinson as a point guard, gets to the cut, deals it down, up and in. Sticks Robinson, he cuts the Gonzaga lead to one. Red Hook, New York. Alley oop to Stanley Robinson from Kemba Walker. Nero on the offside. Swatted out of trouble, picked up. Stanley Robinson. Mr. Robinson showing his presence. And Fairfield will have the basketball when we come back. And inside, Stanley Robinson sends one down. Edwards misses the tip. The beat tried to flip it up over his head. Robinson's second attempt is in. They're just playing volleyball over the backboard. They play with and fortunate to get it back. Bryce not this time. Stanley Robinson with a follow. As we go to a timeout here in Hartford, Stanley Robinson giving the Huskies a lift, but they need more of that. They are still down by 10. St. John's beat Notre Dame for a second straight year at the Garden. Now, Connecticut coming hard and a beautiful loop lead. Down got it, John, if you can run with these guys. I can still run up and down. I can still throw up the three-pointer. And what a great look inside. The dish to Stanley Robinson for the two-hand slam. And Jai, he's looking to get a look. Rosario has it sent back. He gets... He's a great comeback story. He suffered a knee injury, an ACL tear that uh, required surgery last March in the NCAA tournament. He was hurt against San Diego. That doesn't go. Adrian blocks out at Janike, and here comes Price leading the break. Ooh, that was sweet. I mean, what a crossover move right there by Price. Stanley Robinson stays after it. Inman down low, sent back by Robinson. Offensively so far in this game. Sets up Adrian, bangs it off the glass, no good, and the tip try goes by Robinson. Scoops it up, tip, it's good. Again, it was Robinson who got a hand on it. Dyson wants to go, I'll tell you, he's very good in transition. Oh, good feed to Robinson in the finish. Bob Wenzel, we've been tied off and on all night. Bryant has it slapped away. <laughs> I'll tell you what, right here, the long arm of a 6'9 player, he is going to add to the strength of the UConn team as the season wears on. The dump down feet underneath. And test the strength inside. Huskies inside the dark uniforms and score early. Stanley Robinson gets the first field goal of the game with the pass to their big guys or dribble it to the paint with their guards like this. Price has had some good practices since that 0 for 9 shooting. And he finds Stanley Robinson who scores again for the Huskies. 15 seconds, alley -oop. well done. Oh, that was a cold play by A.J. Price. And keep him from making any kind of progress for the basket. Roberts misses the front end. Robinson rather chases it down and then uses the glass to put it in. Side, he'll take it. Horn ahead of everyone, tries to reverse it. The beat was there, team in the nation. And if they were paying, when I played in the NBA, what they're paying now, they'd have to. He's got a big heavy brace on the left leg, has been injured much of the last year and a half. Robinson on the putback. Price back 
Backdoor Robinson elevates and one. Beautiful pass by A.J. Price. Tough to beer down a bit more defensively, though. Hazel blocked by Robinson. He did the Sweet 16 a year ago. Now he up for the Stanley Robinson with the flush. Turnover. Stanley Robinson gave it up, and now Villanova's on the run. That's Corey Fisher, and Robinson throws it out. And as mentioned, uh, Villanova's in a little bit of trouble here. No need to waste him on the bench. Fisher again with the teardrop, and this time he got blocked. I think Robinson got a hand on it. In transition hoops today. Xavier had a block. Bryce misfires on a three. Robinson put back. No, let's try again for two. Well, I'll tell you what, we talked to him before the game, and you could tell he's committed and focused to keep coming back. And he looks good in this first half. Boy, he sure does. Briars run. Curry in transition. Guess what? Blocked away. Robinson. Fake a drive for two. Very effective getting the ball down in the paint. Robinson way short. But McDermott lost it. Robinson. We go right back to the basket for two more. In the second half, UConn four for six. And they're threatening to blow the doors off of Providence here. Robinson, two more. How about Stanley Robinson with some rain? Price again, sets it up for Robinson. Who finishes? Stanley Robinson coming out party here tonight. 08-09 season, nice dish. Latter stages, first half, this game was tied 34. Robinson, great feed and finish on the pass from Walker. A little too strong off the glass. Robinson, cut off by Novak, but drops it down just the same. UConn has the lead. So he's going to have to be careful here. He's passed to Robinson and puts it up on the iron. Four teams in action tonight, all of them coached by national championship winning coaches. Stanley Robinson knocks it down. Nearly four minutes played here at Campbell Pavilion on the campus of the University of Connecticut. One of the two home floors for the Huskies. Robinson rattles home a three. Kind of so tough. They're flexible. They're playing big right now, and they get a piece of routes. He can go out there and still play. He's got to watch this great season. There's a rejection. Modern two blocks now for the uh, big 7-3. Look out. Oh, wow. Robinson with the flush. <laughs> Take the place of Jerome Dyson, the coach's field. He's a capable player. And that would certainly help their cause if Stanley Robinson, the junior, could get it going. He's averaging just five points per game. Fields in trouble, then found Brown, who cut to a wide open spot, got his own rebound. Robinson blocked it. Brown's burst. Pitt gave Connecticut some confidence at the end of the half. Let's see if it continues. Young blocked by Stanley Robinson. Space, Adrian into the lane, bodies fly. Robinson rattles one home. It's the largest lead of the night for Connecticut. UConn, UConn really doing a poor job by their standards. 23 for Young. That's a deep two for Robinson, and he banks it off. A kiss in downtown Hartford. Players stepping into the spotlight. It's a typical big Monday in the Big East from downtown Hartford. Is it toughen you up or is it going to wear you out? Oh. Oh. Robinson, the dunk. Rebound to his career here at UConn. Austria, top of the key three. That's no good. But how about Robinson skying in for the rebound and the putback? Not many memorable ones either. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I know, I know firsthand what he can do. And over the big fella, Gilchrist is very talented. Stan Heath has a good one. Good pull-up jumper by Stanley Robinson. He's one, and who played together in high school? Because you look at Duke and you've got Gerald Henderson. Go to any NBA team right now, and he can block shots, and he can be a defensive, um, you know, he can be a defensive player, and he can also be a guy that's going to. One thing, no doubt, Tom Green in three years will have Indiana as one of the leading teams in the Big Ten. A lob inside and the easy finish for Stanley Robinson. See, Stanley Robinson, that's what they wanted to do. Utilize his athletic. So it's a beat out for the moment for UConn. Stanley Robinson, look at the athleticism and the upside, and you can see reported a foot injury, and the senior point guard, James, is out for the night. Robinson, and he'll bury it. Hayward fell on the crossover. He wants locked with Butch Lee. 
Price with a floater. Robinson with a follow. Robinson really having one of his quality games. Go to love. He wanted to love right there. Robinson, shot fake. Jam. What a night for Stanley Robinson. Well, what he's doing, he's doing well. He is at Connecticut. Two national titles. Walker out of control. Robinson gets it back, and it goes, and he's fouled. That's a big play. That is a major play right there by Robinson. Size-wise with Tibby. Good D by McNeil. Robinson the rebound, another basket, another foul. So quick to the ball. He's very quick to the ball today. I think Jim Cahoon is going to get that big cake with 800 on it. His wife, Pat, and will be celebrating back in Connecticut. Robinson continues not only to pile up the points, but Jim Calhoun will be even happier with the rebound, showing yep. he's more physical, he's more involved, he's more assertive. He's aggressive. Yeah. And also, you know, when you think about Jim Calhoun, the battle. Quickness of Walker. Pull up. No, Robinson takes it down. And it is blocked by Robinson coming over to help. Help with the beat. Adrian came over to block it. Walker lofted it up for Stanley Robinson. And Robinson just pointed up. Get it up there. Showed size, though. Around the rim. You know what he can do. He's got great elevation. Follows his own miss free throw. Who's got the shooter? Well, he knew it was going to be short. He took off after it. Devendorf had it. Rejected by Edwards. That'll lead to some acrobatics from Robinson. <laughs> Well, there's a lot of neighborhoods in New York, but this is Mr. Robinson's in the open floor. Why don't you do this one, Jay? <laughs> Send it in! When I said I would have been Ivy League Player of the Year, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I, don't I would have been two-time Ivy League Player of the Year. <laughs> and right now, <laughs> Robinson's stepping up. Jim Beheim wanted a foul. He won't get it. Two-on-one break. It's Robinson heading to the rim again! Woo! Well, four, but he wasn't ready to do that. On a walk, he's... Playing on bad knees. Price. Oh. Robinson was ready to elevate. One of the problems with that high ball screen getting very little out of it, moving to beat around. There you go. Medium range jumper. Stick to that. Kid. Walker shut off by Devendorf. Austri. Oh. Get it, but it's Robinson again. <laughs> he brought Adrian with him. He, he liked that. He, he's got a little smile. Jay, check this out with Adrian now. He thinks he's getting pushed by a Syracuse player. He starts begging for a call here. This is where you say on the scouting report, guys, <laughs> you got to block him out. <laughs> Six. Turn and look. Stanley Robinson. It is his night. Good job by Anna Walker. Price might have been tipped. Robinson there again for the players on both sides right now look winded of course Syracuse played last night Connecticut did not that could be an advantage for the Huskies wow. Robinson <laughs> two for 17 from three the three that makes it a four-point game with 123 to go in extra time this is what all the college coaches that recruited him thought he was capable of able to drill it and in the open floor goodness Stand the man. How about that? You see Chattanooga doing a very nice job getting back in transition. This is a really athletic team, and Stanley Robinson continuing on that high. A.J. Price off the screen high from Gavin Edwards and finds the lob to Stanley Robinson. Hey, we'll keep track of all that for you. Back to Philadelphia. Chattanooga and UConn, Carter Blackburn and Jay Billis. What's he called? Second effort. Bounces up the second high. Who finishes on the other end. The Stanley Robinson is an incredible leaper off of two feet. His head was by the rim. And instead of just standing there and admiring his fine work, he ran the floor, caught the ball as the trailer, and was able to lay it in. Overcourt press. Robinson finishes the press offense. Oh, that's how you break a press. I think UConn could really improve their zone attack. Bad, but it's not great. But nobody cuts off the baseline. And when you don't cut off the baseline of Stanley Robinson, he's going to turn this into a poster. Austria steals it. Robinson wins it again. Stanley Robinson. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Stanley Robinson Show. 
Jim Calhoun once described him as a comfortable sweater. He's just so trustworthy. He knows what he's going to get out of Austin. And he was a candidate for the presidency. Now, does that mean that if North Carolina doesn't win the championship, it would be a 41 is the lowest scoring output in a first round game. Another alley-oop dunk for Stanley Robinson. This coming off the feed from Walker. Huskies would love to see in the tournament. A steal off the inbound from Beverly Robinson again. And that one seemed a bit pedestrian. And last year, more of a driver, penetrator. This year, much more of a perimeter shooter. Leading score, A.J. Price, who sets up Stanley Robinson, the guy that can really bury it. 2-3 zone now for Texas A&M. I pass. Brooks to Robinson. He converts. Price on no-look pass. Robinson can't hit it. But Battles gets it back and scores. And Adrian was knocking down that free throw line jumper. And then it was AJ Price. Oh my goodness. Robinson, he just saw that door open and flew through it and said, Here are my credentials. Robinson. Oh. Yeah, Robinson in his neighborhood. It's the go. Sweet touch. But you don't want to acknowledge it. It just seems to put it to the forefront of your mind. They know they can make shots. It's, it's happened before. Robinson inside to score the first bucket of the game. Advantage for Connecticut at every position. Price. There's one of the benefits of that superior height is Robinson with the easy slam. Nothing against Purdue, and there's another steal. A.J. Price the other way for the Huskies. And it's Jeff Adrian unable to hit, but he keeps it alive, and Robinson follows. He scores plus one. That was what Matt Painter was most concerned about was the glass. This is a very good offensive rebounding team. Much production from Etwan Moore, their leading scorer. Nice drive inside, but there's the rejection. And it could easily break it, and A.J. Price to Austria, or Robinson, rather, and Robinson banks home. And another easy two for answer. Missed by Moore. Almost a steal by Kramer. Now it's a solo for Robinson. And he with a flush. Stanley Robinson. And double figures with 10 for Connecticut. The year before, that shows how far he's come as an offensive player. Taylor again goes inside, and that one blocked by Robinson. Austri into the lane. And the feed beautifully underneath to Stanley Robinson. Edwards is playing at home. He's from the Phoenix area. Gilbert. And there's a sweet bank by Stanley Robinson. A.J. Price has the open man, Adrian, who finds Robinson for an easy two. Already in the bonus, Missouri's been called for seven fouls. English inside, and he is blocked by Robinson. Taylor, good fake on the beat, and another block by Robinson. He is having a party of his own. The Lions to lead the Tigers. The Lions leading the Tigers. Nice pass. Robinson from the left wing. You may have heard it, but every four-year player he's ever coached has made it to the final four. And there is UConn slamming it down with Stanley Robinson. See from his junior forward. That's Robinson trying to three-point shot and buries it. Little switch off. Walker pulls up. Comes Robinson right to the cylinder and puts it back for the lead. Oh, what a terrific rebound to the weak side. Good push here by Michigan State, though. Knocked down Robinson. Inside row and Robinson rejects. And this time it's Price snagging up for the Huskies. Robinson taking it to the hole. Good night. <laughs> Stanley Robinson. Forget about that. Well, this can be an effective lineup with for UConn. Price finds another seat. Oh! Robinson! It's a one possession game. But a poor job by UConn to get back. Oh! Stanley Robinson.